Jason Hicks grew up on a farm in the scenic English countryside where he learned to appreciate both nature and fresh ingredients. He opened his first restaurant in Britain when he was just 20 years old. He's been here in New York since 1996 and he is chef and owner of two new restaurants here, the Peacock and a casual traditional pub, the Shakespeare, as well as Jones Wood Foundry where he serves up dishes inspired by the best English culinary traditions. Chef Jason Hicks, welcome to The Dish. Thank you. What have we got here? Well, you've got you've basically got a, some classic English stuff. You've got a mushy pea over there. A which mushy is, pea, I love which that. Beautifully <laughs> named. <laughs> you've got a bubble and squeak over uh, here. Which is what exactly? Bubble and squeak is, uh, it, traditionally, it's just, it's just things that are thrown in a pan and right. just fried up. So when they're right. in the pan, they bubble, they squeak. So there's no real recipe to it, but it would basically be traditionally you have a roast, you know, a Sunday roast, and then mm -hmm. it would be something that the vegetables get used in afterwards. So they will get thrown in a pan and whatever. It's like an Obviously, American version of hash, of the British version of hash. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and then you've got the uh, British version of a, a chicken pot pie, I guess. So you've got the a braised chicken in there with uh, oyster mushrooms and a, a rough puff pastry. Brussels sprouts, little chestnuts and bacon. Mm. This is not chicken pot pie as I remember it at the corner pub in London when I used to live there. It's a little <laughs> it's nicer than that. A perfect dish for the weather we're having here yeah, in New York absolutely, also. Walk absolutely. us through what we're drinking this morning as well. Bramble. So it's, it's a gin-based cocktail over ice with uh, muddled um, blackberries. Mm. Thanks that for bringing good. that up. I'm going yeah. there. Cheers. So as we, for it. we mentioned in the intro, you started a restaurant at 20. You went to culinary school, or mm -hmm. a version of culinary school, yeah. at 15. How did you know so young that this is what you wanted to do? Uh, I started working in kitchens, dishwashing and, and so on, and you, you kind of get into it. There's a, there's a lot of adrenaline, there's a lot of, it's a fast pace, it's kind of uh, a little bit addictive. If you like it, then you're, right. kind of, you, you're kind of screwed, you're in it, and that's it. Once you're right. in it, you're in it. So that was what I was doing, and then I, I went to college to get get some qualifications, um, and then I, I opened up a restaurant. It was a bit younger than 20, actually, but it was is in a little hamlet village just outside of, uh, in, in the county of Worcestershire. Was that the one you opened with your brother? Yeah, yeah. My brother was the, the server, my mother was a dishwasher. Right. And uh, it was a pretty family orientated. How did that, you guys work, how did you guys work together? Well, as I, as I started to make some money, I was able to get rid of them. <laughs> No, no, but seriously, I'm sure it was like, yeah, no, but, no, it was good. It was fun, but it was, uh, it was, it was. We were calling it at the time modern British food. Um, nothing really modern, but as you say, that the food is the food in England has a bad rap. So it's it's kind of. Does it deserve the bad rap? Um, I think in many cases, yes, because it, what happens is you get people going to the wrong places and eating right. eating the wrong things, and obviously there's a lot of. Uh, People trying to produce things, you know, fast meals and so on, and the, the the whole love of cooking is not really what it was. I think now, if you go now to England, it's it's, it's completely different. I think, quite honestly, some of the, the best restaurants in the world are in London. I mean, it's this, mm -hmm. the food scene is incredible. So. How did you get into this, you know, gastro pub? Because I think you're so classically trained. Yeah. My thought would have been that you would have gone into a very fancy restaurant. You yeah. would have done something really white tablecloth. Yeah. Well, I was I, when I came to New York. I was uh, I was you know, chef of some very high-profile restaurants, and it was all very classically French restaurants. Right. When I left that restaurant, I was uh, I was kind of looking for something more, not to get out the business, but something because it was you know I'm working six, seven days a six, seven days a week, sixteen hours a day. It, it's hard. But then you know, once I decided I was trying to get out of it, and I did for a little while, I actually started to miss it. So then the only option for me was to open my own thing. So I wanted to open, uh, I wanted something that, that meant sort of something to me as to what I believed in. And right. I believe that restaurants should be, well, I say restaurants, I, I think that food venues or drinking venues, whether, whatever it is, it should be fun. It should be, you should enjoy it. It shouldn't be stressful. You shouldn't be at a restaurant with a waiter staring over you, stressing you out. That's right. kind of what we're doing. It's yeah. an excellent philosophy. Yeah. We want to get your signature on this dish. Right. And as I pass it over to you, I have to ask you if you could share this meal with anyone. Past, present, who would that person be? Well, a meal like this, and this, this would remind me of uh, my grandmother, really. So it'd probably be Aww. my, you know, the whole family environment around a table, Terrific. tucking into the chicken pie. Excellent pick, Chef Jason Hicks. Thank you so much. And for more on the chef, head to our website at CBS This Morning.